What's good, guys? It's your homie, WST, doing a reaction to what's happening in Zambia. Guys, I was on social media. Guys, sodomizing has gone too far. People are sodomizing each other. I know men sleeping with men. Oh, so nasty. And this is something that you know, in Zambian culture we've always condemned about. And it's happening crazy, I can tell you. We have got a garden boy who was sodomized by the boss. We have got a street kid, like the one we are reacting to, you sodomized. And then he died like his backside was so destroyed now imagine how can you do this it's so crazy we've got um, a musician who was uh, you know he booked a cab and they gave him something to drink he blacked out they took him to a guest house surmised him crazy what's going on in this nation guys take care of yourself we have also the memes <laughs> of the vaseline memes you know like when you're when you're in a in a taxi and you hear your mate saying oh i'm going to buy vaseline run for your life and I'm just trying to shock you. These are the memes. This is nothing to fear. To this is nothing to make fun of. It's something that is really nasty. And my condolences to those that have lost their lives, and they also um, had felt, uh, you know, emotions to those that have also been hurt. Let's go into the video and react to what's going on in this nation. Let's go. At first, it was only whispered in the corridors of Zambian prisons. People who dread going to prison for fear that hardcore criminals are in the tendency of sodomizing fellow yeah, inmates. Then there was that not, audio not really recording happened. of a crying mother painfully narrating that her children had been repeatedly sodomized. There was also the recent Jesus. report of five pupils of Islamic Imagine Education Trust of pupils. Zambia who were alleged sodomized. to have been sodomized it's by crazy. three older pupils that led to their arrest. More closer to home. On Friday last week, police officers like deposited a body of a street so kid only God. identified as Kalale, who is Could said to also have been a wheelbarrow pusher no at Soweto knows. Market in Lusaka. For the purpose of identification, the face of the victim has and been shown, for he had no fixed abode. The corridors of UTH mortuary are eerily quiet, and the stench of death is unmistakable. The attendant wheeled the body on the gunny for viewing. What has shocked medical personnel at Zambia's biggest referral hospital was the extensively damaged oh, state God. of the victim's fecal passage. They could only conclude one world, thing. Man? Kalale was a victim world? of sodomy abuse, obviously by his fellow street kids. UTH public relations and... manager Natalie Mashkolo cannot come to terms with the sad development as she labors to explain. We have a, a body of a, six, of a 32 year old male uh, he goes by the name of Kalale and he was brought in by police from police, Soweto yeah. and he appears to be a victim of being sodomized over a long period of time because when he came and when uh, he was examined uh, the back his backside had it, it, it's just unbelievable uh, what has happened to it it's kind of open and it's you know it's just this is a hard video to make and it's going you know this world is so crazy. You may not know whether it's a political move, whether it's done, somebody is benefiting somewhere else. You can never know what, what is really going on in this nation. When you go on Facebook, you see all these trains, the Vaseline memes and other things. Just be careful. You know, all my fans, my subscribers, watch these videos. You know, take care of yourself, you know. And this is a message I would like to send to you. And just leave thoughts in the comments on what you think is causing this to happen. Because apparently, no one has a clear image of what's going on.